Hey there, how are you today? My name is Dana Damara and you've landed on Astrocast. This is your weekly forecast for May 1st through the 6th. So the first thing I want to say is if you haven't already listened to the full moon Scorpio lunar eclipse report, I would say get over there and listen to that podcast mainly mainly because I talk a lot about the transits that are happening this week. So I, I go into them, a lot of them, and I, I don't want to be redundant here, but the lunar eclipse, the full moon lunar eclipse that's happening in Scorpio this week, midweek, is really, it's the 5th of May, is really the most powerful piece of what's going on this week. So the theme this week is unexpected change. Now, again, I talk a little bit about this in the other podcast, but I will just tell you anytime we have an eclipse, anytime we have an eclipse, there is unexpected change. And because the sun is sitting right next to Uranus and Uranus is opposite the moon with this full moon, we will experience some change. So my invitation to you is to look at your life and ask yourself right now, like, what is making me feel constricted? Where am I not feeling a sense of freedom? Where, you know, what do I need to let go of? Where am I feeling a sense of um, maybe I'm diminishing my value? And that has to do with Venus. Okay. The other thing is, this is a South node eclipse that we're experiencing. So, once we move out of this phase, we have moved out of this phase, okay? There is so much energy moving this week. I'm, I'm going to look at my notes. The first thing that happens is Pluto goes into retrograde. So those of you who listen to the Pluto retrograde, this is a, this is a little transit with Pluto that's going to happen all the way until I believe October 2024. Pluto is in Capricorn all the way from 2008 where uh, Pluto just moved into Aquarius and now it's going to retrograde. This is actually standing still May 1st. So when planets stand still, especially at a zero degree mark like this or 29 degrees, it's a big deal. So I would say, you know, look at with regard to the theme, look at where you've given your power away. Look at where there's power struggles. Pluto is this teeny tiny itty bitty planet that holds so much power. It's almost ridiculous how much power this little planet has. It's all about transformation, all about empowerment, all about how you use your power. So give a little bit of attention to that. If you feel tired this week, just honor that right? Don't, don't think like, um, okay, we have a full moon lunar eclipse in Scorpio. So this is all Scorpio energy. It is Scorpio energy, but there's so many other things happening. You need to be aware of this is a really positive, potentially positive week. You have to take all the aspects into, um, into account. Okay. Sun conjunct Mercury retrograde. All right. Remember, Mercury is still in retrograde. So when the sun conjuncts Mercury retrograde, there's a there's a focus and an awareness on this idea of practical thinking. And that happens on the first as well. So on the first, all about practical thinking, aligning your thoughts, transformative power. Right. Um, Venus is going to score Neptune. That's all about love. That's all about values. That's all about creativity, really utilizing some maybe extra oomph of energy that you have to create something. There's nothing wrong with imagining your future. There is everything right about imagining your future. Um, I have been listening to Abraham Hicks again, and she talks so much about instead of telling the story as it is, or saying like life, it just is, this is how it is, begin to tell the story about what's next, what really makes you feel beautiful and expanded. If you have a relationship that is, you know, not where you want it to be with another person, right? Maybe start visualizing that relationship as you want it to be visualize healing happening for you wherever you need it in your life. I'm not saying that 
the power of positive thinking changes everything. It doesn't, but it sure does help. <laughs> so understand that even though we have this really powerfully deep lunar eclipse, oh my gosh, all the transits, a lot of the other transits this week are really pointing you in the direction to um, not expect anything and um, put your desires and your dreams at the forefront right? Um, Venus square Neptune, moon opposite Mercury retrograde. So this is asking you to feel your way through life instead of think your way through life. Um, Venus sextile Jupiter. This is huge. Venus is going to move into Taurus pretty soon. It's been in Aries for a little while. Venus is going to move into, I mean, Jupiter is going to move into Taurus and Venus is sextile in Jupiter, which is all about good luck, good fortune, um, you know, wisdom, education, what you value. It's really asking us to allow ourselves some space to receive, right? When we get into uh, this, this thought process of unexpected change or shifts, sometimes we immediately go to the dark side, right? And sometimes we go to losing something. Well, Sometimes when we lose something, it's either outdated or old and unnecessary, or the universe has asked you multiple times to go the other way and you haven't been paying attention. <laughs> so with this week coming up, you know, dial in your intuition, um, feel into your body, ask yourself, is this, am I operating from fear or instinct, you know, fear or wisdom? And do as much as you can this week, acting from a place of intuitive wisdom and, and instinctual guidance. It's all there. It's like, I, I don't know how else to say this, but it's like the veil is super thin and everything that you're thinking has, is, is manifesting immediately. So be mindful, right? Be really mindful. And if something shifts and I, I talked about this in class today. Sometimes when things shift for us and it's something that we really want or it's like the surprise and it's beautiful, we're all excited. Yes, it's amazing. Look what I manifested. But then when something shifts in a direction where maybe we label it as not beautiful and lovely, it's challenging, we, we tend to resist it. Pay attention to the places where you've been resisting and just allow that unexpected change to come in because the universe knows more than you. And <laughs> it's just nice to remember that you don't have to create it all, right? It's kind of a good thing. Um, if you want your chart read, I am offering, I, I've lowered my prices a little bit um, through the end of this year, mainly just because I feel like it's, it's my gift to you. So if you decide you want your chart read, please reach out to me. You can find um, all the information on my website at danademara.com. And then uh, if you just want to know a little bit about if this is all new to you and you're not really understanding anything I'm saying, but you're interested, go to myastrocast.com, myastrocast.com, and just put in your email and you'll get a few emails from me just talking about the phases of the moon and the signs and the houses and how to find your chart and all of that stuff. So pretty powerful time that we're in right now. Don't waste this beautiful energy and just let go. Just back off of your life. Just allow yourself to just kind of back float a little bit. Thank you so much for being here. I love uh, doing these and I really appreciate your continued support. Have such a beautiful day. Namaste.